sing through the snow. Selling nine half a bricks and four ways. Over the hills we go. Got an extendo and an AK. From a neighborhood philanthropist. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Y'all, I'm laying for that. But anyways, happy Vlogmas day 14. I am just finished. Wait a minute. First of all, it's not even good morning. Um, it's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock p.m. Luckily, I started vlogging way before the evening time because I do have a few things I need to do. But me and Jeremy are actually about to film a content video for you guys. I don't know if it's going to come out the same day you guys are seeing this or maybe the next day. I haven't decided that yet. But you guys, look at my freaking hair. I'm trying not to turn certain ways in this room because Christmas gifts are just all over the place. Spe Let me go out of my this room right quick so I can be able to move as freely as I want to. First and foremost, Z Gallery did deliver my new table um, and my side table. This Malaysian princess wave hair is giving me life. I absolutely love it. Like, it's so freaking pretty. Um, I don't have anything else to say. And a lot of people are asking about the, this is also, so this is the Brazilian texture and i'm wearing the malaysian so i guess this is like a side-by-side -side comparison of how they look but a lot of people are saying that they want um to get the wig and i didn't put them on the site but by the time you guys are watching the video the wig is on the site and i apologize because everything that i showed you guys in the other video about poshmark those items i still haven't put those on the site as well so um by the time you guys are watching this video they are actually updated which were the dress those jeans those um um what else was on here those tops and dresses and all the two-piece outfits so all that stuff has been updated i just needed some time y'all because i be having a lot of stuff to do but anyways babe are you dressed are you dressed <laughs> what the <laughs> say hey to our friends to the keys. Hey, keys. What are you doing with those? Is that a shirt or some pants? And Duns. <laughs> hey, Duns and keys. Um, what I was about to say. Oh yeah, you guys. So remember a few weeks ago, my my you always saying my foundation was looking a little bit off. I was using my Becca foundation, but I think it's a back my skin tone because it doesn't look off anymore. But I have half Becca on and half um Stila because. I don't know, I just, I, and then another thing, y'all, I was freaking putting my freaking, I don't even want to say what I was doing, but I'm just going to tell y'all anyway. I was freaking putting my foundation on with a dry beauty blender. Who does that? Who does that? That's why I'm not a beauty guru now, because I do stupid stuff like that. Who the heck does that? So I, I wet it in the middle of pump, because I'm like, dang, it's kind of like dried out a little bit. And I was like, let me just wet it to, you know, get it worked in my skin. And I look, it's flawless. Let me show y'all my outfit the other day. It's just a cute little dress from Windsor. Nothing major. Nothing major. Yeah, there we go. So hair. <laughs> y'all, we going on a trip. Woo. Oh, shoot, y'all. Trying to get together. My lips are chapped. Hey, hold the vlog camera. Put the arm um, drink out there. Oh, you found Holy it? Holy shit. Y'all, it's cold as fuck. <laughs> you talk about babe, turn this thing on heat up, blast it, babe, blast it. That shit is blasting. <laughs> the fuck? I'm trying to put on this chest before I start eating these chips now. See, when I get in the car, I'm... you remember how to get back to the room? Is that right? This thing got too much sauce. Taste one of these. That's why I gave you that flavor in the video. Go ahead, man. Tell me what flavor. Oh, you just talking. You see, it got a lot of sauce on it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Do you like that? I feel like I was just looking weird as hell just then. Wait a little bit. I'm telling her what to do, and she doing it. <laughs> Some people may say it's directions. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. We not letting this car get in front of us. <laughs> the fuck? 
<laughs> My boy trying to jump in front of the hell nah, man. We ain't going for no nana, no nana that. <laughs> no nana. <laughs> no nana. Now you're making remixes with no remixes. <laughs> First it was Nathan. <laughs> no nana, no Nathan, no nana. <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first. You keep it straight, baby. Go run them motherfuckers, please. Look at this fucking UPS guy. So <laughs> right, You'll make this left. Where? It's on this street right here, Barnes. Make this right or left? I'm in right, my <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, because you were closer. It needed me to focus. Yo, these are my favorite chips in the world. I love these chips. I love these. I love baked ruffles. I love hot fries. I just love chips. So that's what she gonna get, a 32 bag of chips for Christmas. What, what flavor? Uh, this bootylicious bubble gum, <laughs> grape cherry, Frank. <laughs> Don't forget this honey. <laughs> How you say it, say the song, man? Now I got 32 flavors of that bootylicious bubble gum, raspberry, grape, cherry, come and get this honey bun. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Isn't that what she just popped? They, oh my good, yo, 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 <laughs> yo, these Atlanta drivers, yo, if y'all see this, bro, show them, and I, yo, you're telling me to take my shot with every car that comes, with every car to try to take their shot with me, he's saying no, 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 yo, look at the city, though, boy, five minutes away from where we at right now, I was born where we at right now. Where you going? On the pavement. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like I need these things all over my house. I just picked up the vlog camera. Who is calling me now? Hold on, y'all. Jeez Louise. Whew. Hey, girl. I'm just filming. I'm just filming myself. If you need you some hair for the holidays, I got you. I got the cars on deck right here. Hey, how you doing, sir? Can I help you? Huh? Can I help you? Oh no, thank you. That's all they ask. Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> Bye. Y'all did all that looking for some wipes, and they got some at the checkout. But I still did get these. Or maybe I should just put these back then. What y'all think? Hmm. Guess I got like five seconds to think about it. Oh. Okay guys, I think I should do another story time with me, a mini story time about why I decided to work for myself. Y'all, where did I park? Oh, there we go. Hey, how are you? You just, if you looking, you just gotta be mindful these days, y'all. People be looking for a reason because it is that season to get to thieving. And you still looking? I'll give you something to look at. Let me shut up, y'all. <laughs> but y'all, let me give y'all another mini story time. Oh about my job y'all like my victoria's secret story if y'all didn't see that little mini story time me and lex talked about when we used to work in victoria uh, victoria's secret um and then after i left victoria's secret um the last job that i worked at was this store called oakley so y'all tell me why they gave me the night shift and I, at first i was mad because i'm like i do not like the night shift during the holidays if you guys don't know um and during the holiday time, they leave the malls open an hour later or like 30 to 30 minutes to an hour later, depending on if it's Friday, Saturday or the days of the week. So when I first got hired, I'm working the freaking closing shift, which was like 6 to 1130 or 6 to 1030 or something like that. And I had the best lead ever. She was one of the assistant managers. Her name was Kimber. Shout out to you, girl. If you're watching this, y'all, Kimber let me do what I want to do. That's why I loved her. I would be clocked in. 
and she would be clocked in just sitting down watching netflix she would let me be on a clock i'll go down to the food court give me something to eat i'll go shopping she'll give me money i'll shop for her it was just the best life we'll talk about everything we was vibing everything was great so then kimber ended up saying she was gonna leave and go back to her other job after the holiday so i was like dang like who am i gonna vibe with who am i gonna talk to i don't i don't want to be on night shift with nobody else so they put me on night shift with adam adam was the lead who i work with at victoria's secret who helped me get the job at oakley so adam was cool too you know we was you know we was cool we usually we usually talked about relationships boys girls college stuff like that so me and adam was cool and then adam ended up getting higher um at the uh at the outlets location so he ended up leaving y'all from that day point that day four it went downhill it was hell and high waters at that job everybody else wanted to play by the rules how dare they want me to come in when i was supposed to come in and leave when i was supposed to leave and take the the 30 minute break that i was supposed to take and then stay later if you know they if they needed me to do extra stuff how dare they ask me to follow the rules y'all <laughs> i was like not having it because i was so used to kimber and adam letting me do what i wanted to do i was spoiled so i'm just like now nah, i'm working with the freaking man the real manager of the store they got me doing the shit with her she was a real nice sweet lady but it was just like she wanted me to follow the rules and i'm like like, dang Kimber used to let me come in and you know come back out here and be on my phone now I gotta come in and put my phone out because if they saw your phone you'll get in trouble whatever so I was working with the actual manager the new assistant manager and all the other leads so everybody was it was male dominated the the guys they just felt like they were so much smarter than me they just thought they were so much better than me and I guess they felt like that because they were older than me and I kept having to put it to them straight like please do not come to me when it comes to that education because I, I would have you shut down so quick and I used to just always brag like my grades are straight A's like my GPA has been this I graduated high school with a 4.6 check me out every time I got my report card um at Spelman like I was like look at my transcript 4.0 like please li like please but I just cannot I don't like it's one thing for a girl to be like a smart ass or a girl to feel like she knows it all but I just feel like it's just so unattractive for a guy guy should be I, mean, I guess that's double standard so I shouldn't really say it but I, I at that moment I felt like that I was younger that was young me but at that moment I just felt like guys need to be chill they need to be mellow they need to be you know they just need to be cool like everyone should be able to get along with a guy like guys are supposed to be the ones you befriend because the girls are giving you grief but it's just like while i was there they just treated me like i didn't know about politics i didn't know any like i really wasn't smart i was less than i couldn't sell like more stuff and i i'm amazing worker like don't get me wrong just because i didn't want to work for anybody doesn't mean i wasn't doing my job i was amazing y'all waiting for um somebody to text me to tell me something um, real quick before I leave out of this area but anyway so um yeah I was an amazing worker I didn't put my best foot forward at this particular store because I just didn't like the job period and I was selling shades and I never even like at Victoria's Secret I knew how to freaking open up a credit card I was a cashier and we got extra incentives for opening up credit cards for people I knew what to tell people to open up a credit card because I actually love that store but at Oakley I'm over here trying to sell people stuff I don't even really know what I'm talking about and it was boring to me so I didn't really like I just did my job I just want to you know help you out know enough to get me by and then leave so they used to think that we're just so superior and better than Keisha because you know like we have to always keep coming over here to help her and I'm like these shades is not like these shades don't in the world do not get it twisted just because i don't know as much as you know about these shades and these glasses and this snowboard thing like the real world type stuff we can go head to head y'all when, when i said we i used to go head to head with all these grown men like i was what work grade was i in i left victoria's secret um my sophomore year so y'all was a sophomore when i finally quit my job so yeah my sophomore year i, I it had to be cold around the colder season um uh, because i think it was during vlogmas so yeah it had to be december yeah 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 december i'm gonna go with december so yeah, december of my um of my sophomore year i'm just like i'm not like me i'm the type of person where is someone trying to move where am i don't know i'm the type of person where if um i don't care what environment i'm, I'm in if anyone tries to make me feel less than or beneath them when it comes to anything like when it comes to educational purposes like whether it be politics whether it just be pure knowledge whether whether it just may be your everyday thing i don't let anyone make me feel less than because i know i have worked my ass off throughout my entire life to, to you know to learn as much as i can because i know i am like people how society looks at me just because i'm a woman i got that against me because i'm african-american i have that against me so my dad always instilled in all of us like at that moment i knew i could never work with somebody because 
needed my job I had well I didn't have bills to pay but I still had stuff I wanted to buy as a young college student and I wanted to do what I wanted to do with my money so I know I like pretty much needed that job um, however I wasn't dependent on that job and I just knew like imagine had I been dependent on that job and I have to come to this job um, to, to pay rent or pay a car note and, and deal with people ostracizing me or making me feel less than because I'm a woman or because I'm younger or whatever various reasons hey what's up everybody so as you guys can see I kind of took over in the kitchen a little bit um, I kind of got Keisha doing something for me that I believe she can do a lot better than I can so I'm gonna take over in the kitchen for right now sit this up here you know boom we lit now y'all all right, um, but did you tell them what we was making? Oh, uh, yeah, we making um, chicken and shrimp alfredo. Whatever. It's going up. We lit. You know. And I guess what? I got some big, important news to share with y'all. So, I officially moved in. Babe, huh? I told them. I hear, babe. I hear. We came, to, you know, to a mutual understanding that since I'm here almost every day, that I might as well just stay. You know, so boom, there it is. I love it. You hate it, huh? <laughs> hey, babe, can I like cut the chicken up with the um, with, with the scissors? All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to fillet. We have to buy some more kitchen um stuff. Some chicken, you dig? All right. You already seasoned this stuff, baby. I'm just gonna this chicken, man. This chicken. I think my head is too big when I put my head through it, it just rips. Yes. No, I'm just playing. I don't know. I honestly do not know. I'm going to cook it on some of this. Can you get the wrong one on? She knows some yeah, I figured and did not take the time to go and check. No, I Wow. Wow. I do that every time. It never fails. Do you really now? Oh, I'm going to... Um... Boom. You want to sizzle it when you, put your, when you put your oil in there? You want to sizzle it with some garlic. That's going to give it all the flavor that it needs when you drop your chicken in there. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm really giving y'all for too much sauce. You did what I'm saying? So, huh. Eat that up. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to see, babe. You think I should make the um? You think I should make it from scratch? The um. Alfredo. Yes, we do. We got the half and half in here. Remember? Yeah, I just bought all the stuff. Babe. We can make some into it. I need the oil. Oh. And I like to kind of double back. You did what I'm saying? So I might hit it with a pam a little. You feel me? A little couple of times like that. You did. One of them. You did. Just to give it, you know, help it out some more. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But I'm gonna just sit on some of the pound that I got. <laughs> I sprayed on the ground. All right, guys. It's smelling amazing. You did. Let's get on up in there. You feel what?
Look at me, bro. Huh? You said it doesn't look good? Yeah, it looks so pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you talking to me at a necklace? <laughs> Y'all see them BBS pointers on my bag? Looking like it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, she rocking that dress, ain't she? Daddy, won't you go mind yours? You still want this? Cause it's kind of nasty. No, you can throw it out. This is the milk that I told you I had, babe. Almond breeze. Regular, full thing. This says needs to be drunk by December 29th. But get the drink. Okay, look at her. And then we still have the vanilla one. I can help you drink the original one, though. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta check on my chicken. What happened to the, um, I gotta check the chicken. What happened to the cranberry chicken? Check the chicken. Uh, what happened to the cranberry chicken? It's probably, um, it's in the pantry. You never put it up there? Yeah, it's in the pantry. I never put it in the, um, in a, in a fridge. You gonna make the sauce from scratch? Yeah, I can, and I can use some of the Alfredo too. Cause it has some of the herbs in that Alfredo that I wanted to use in mine that we don't have access to right now. So I'll just copycat. My first time doing it, by the way. Copy pattern that is. Oh yeah, the shrimp is in. The shrimp is in. The shrimp is in. Bow. 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 We lit. Hey, do we have, we have broccoli? Do we have some more broccoli? But it's looking so good and smelling so good in here, y'all. Yeah. Look at that butter just melting in the... Look, the steam is overwhelming the camera. It just made me get that 50 feet. <laughs> it is. No, for real, keep that up. Look at that butter. Get out of my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. It's not for you. They fuck with me strong. Any bitches gon' fuck it with time money long. I know that you that you claim to be no matter how much money I get, this ain't changing me. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, like they lying to me. I know for sure, won't slow me. Mm -mm, ain't <laughs> Yeah, like they lying to me. I know for sure, won't slow me. Mm -mm, ain't Don't say the least. Uh, uh, uh. I seen the priest. <laughs> I signed the lease. I know, I signed the priest. Look at Bailey, he like, do I come in, do I not? Do I come in, do I not? He like this. Y'all, barely at the front like this. Hey, sweet boy. Now well, I got a message for Bailey. Hey, man, where's the, um... <laughs> we need to buy some more, um, pots for these fans. I really left my lids, all the lids I own, in my first place. Hey, this is all so much better. Babe, can, can you steam that broccoli for me real quick? Hey, look at this crap I got to clean up. Stove, or you want me to steam it via uh, microwave? Huh? Um, I ain't never steamed it. What you, I don't know what you're talking about. I just use it. Put it in the pot. 
พระเป้าอันนี้เป็นรามีเบคโลฟินชอว์ดูฮาร์ดเมกมาเฟมิสอัลฟรีโดซอสเคลิป let it go longer than 17 minutes what they gonna get a long hour long vlog tomorrow cause you want all this in there don't you babe Cause this I ain't got no half pass. I'm just gonna use it. I'm just gonna show them a little bit of my Alfredo. Okay. Put it on my jar. I'm just gonna use. Bailey, out of my kitchen, Bailey. Out. What are Alfredo sauce you bought, Bailey? In a bag. Oh, babe, take my mango. That's what we gonna buy a lot of. I'm gonna buy like 15 of these. So we can have these for breakfast, and I gotta get my weight back up. I'm not even like really in a rush to get my weight back up because all the outfits I got for New Year's for Old Holly, if I get bigger, I'm not gonna be able to fit them. So I'm trying not to gain my weight back up that fast. They can see, babe. I put the camera right there. Oh, shit, why did I do that? What you trying to do that? Well, let me just let you do what you do and I'll do that. Okay. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. I want to put y'all, but I messed up, but it's okay. Y'all want to put y'all butter in first and let y'all butter come to a, a simmer. Set yourself. Show these, show these people in. Let y'all butter come to a simmer like this. And once it's come to a complete simmer and melt it down, then you want to add your half and half cream. But let me get this done. Talk to me. Y'all, these are life. I'm about to start drinking these every day. Alright you guys, so this is the finished product. Whatever, we got our broccoli, shrimp, chicken, our pasta, self-made, homemade Alfredo. With a little bit of the stove Alfredo, but we're gonna hold that one down. But yeah, that's what we eating tonight. <laughs> and this is a dessert. Look at dessert. <laughs> oh, you were sad. But yeah, so this is the difference between a uh, human hair quality wig and synthetic. Synthetic. I mean, oh, what a coincidence! We're just walking in talking about it. <laughs> so you know, we're not making it up. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs>